Not only is sexual harassment all too common in Congress, congressional rules make it rarely hard for victims to even report it. Like, I'm talking incredibly hard. Here's what you have to do if you are a legislative branch employee who wants to file a formal sexual harassment complaint. And this is actual federal law. First, you have to go through 30 days of mandatory counseling. Yeah, counseling for you, the accuser, you know, so you can think about what you didn't do. <laughs> then you have to do a month of mediation, right? And if you still feel like suing your harasser, well, then there's another 30-day cooling-off period. Yeah, because you're so mad about all of the counseling and mediation that they just made you go through. <laughs> but then after all of that, then you can file the complaint. Unless, unless that other process, all of that bureaucratic bull took more than 180 days, in which case, you're too late. Yeah, too late. Can you imagine that happening after any other crime? It's like someone like, help, help, officer! My car was just stolen! All right, sir, all right, all right. Come back in the spring and we'll start looking for it. <laughs> but don't wait too long or it doesn't count. Okay, bye-bye now. And by the way, uh, even if you are able to file a complaint, none of your colleagues are able to speak on your behalf. Yes, because I guess as Congressional Code Title II, Part 13 says, snitches get stitches. <laughs> like, this process is so complicated and demoralizing, even the HR department at Fox News would probably be like, you guys have no respect for women. <laughs> like, nothing <laughs> at all. For more on the sexual harassment rules in Congress, we turn now to our very own Michelle Wolf, everybody. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle, when you see Congress... Don't going... even ask. I'm locked and loaded. Men, pay attention. Dicks down, ears up. <laughs> don't harass people. And don't you dare make it hard to report. Reporting an unwanted dick shouldn't require a quest. We have to do counseling, then mediation, then a cooling off period. What's the last step? Pull this ancient sword from a stone to prove you truly are the victim. <laughs> oh, no, that's not a sword. <laughs> Those aren't stones. <laughs> also, men, when you open the door in a towel, what do you think will happen? You'll drop it and we'll be like, oh, I simply must have sex with that. <laughs> hey, men, here's the secret. Women's bodies are great. Your bodies are an obligation. <laughs> the full title of that John Mayer song should be Your Body is a Wonderland and Mine is an Abandoned Warehouse. <laughs> you know why we stare in your eyes when we have sex with you? It's because your eyes are the least repulsive part of your body. <laughs> the eyes are the windows away from your dick. <laughs> you know why penises go in holes? Because we don't want to see them. <laughs> You know what else we put in holes? Dead bodies. Mi but, Michelle, what about... No! Still locked, still loaded. <laughs> How about this, Congress? Next time you want to grab an ass or whip out your dick, pretend it's gun violence, and do what you do best. Nothing! <laughs> and your dick will be right where it needs to be, only in thoughts and prayers. Michelle Wolf, everybody. Locked and loaded. <laughs>